Hi everybody and welcome back again. I know it's been a really long time since the last video update, but here it comes, all the news, everything we have done before we closing up the side skins here on my TSI. Yeah, so this is the plane in October 2024. So you see we have removed the side skins and started making everything inside of the plane. Uh, in October the firewall forward kit came from Aircraft Builders Europe, perfect delivery as usual. Uh, we made the inventory and everything was here, everything is perfect. Uh, if someone from Sling is listening or watching this video, Sling, please change these bags back to the transparent ones. They have the blue plastic and you cannot see through. Uh, so this is really difficult to make the inventory so like this. After the inventory, we uh, prepared the side skins. So we primed everything and dimpled the side skins. Be careful dimpling the side skins. There is a mistake in the manual. Take care of what you're doing here. Um, then we started building the fuel lines. The fuel lines provided by the kits are plastic fuel lines and you will have to change these lines every five years. So this is what I really don't want to do when the plane is finished up and you have a nice uh, seats to um, open everything and change the fuel lines. So I decided to go with the aluminium ones. Um, there is a really good homepage from a builder from Germany. Uh, he has a good part list and a list how to do it. The problem was to get all this stuff in Europe. You need the AN6 connectors and the flaring tool for this. So this was not easy and it's not that cheap. All in all, you need uh, around $1,000. You see here the workflow from measuring the length of cutting and then the special flaring tool. Just make sh sure that everything is on the tube before you flare your parts. Uh, cleaning everything of course uh, and then testing it. Yeah, making it is not that difficult. So of course you have to test it afterwards uh, if everything is sealed up. So we also made the, the support structure for the boost pump and a new location for the fuel selector and everything is in a, in a good place down here. Uh, it's it's really a clean and nice design. But all the fuel lines are out to the wings and there are two new plates for the connectors to the wings. So we also made the throttle quadrant. There is a new version of the throttle quadrant. One new bracket on the, on the side. Make sure to have the the new version of this uh, throttle quadrant and as you can see I don't have the toe brakes I have the hand brakes so my brake cylinder for the brake fuel is also here underneath the middle console uh, it was not not really difficult to build to build this all straightforward over the next month uh, we made the electronics and the wiring harness I did all this by myself so I will make another special video for the electronics and here we are already in February 2025. We are removing all the parts and the wire harness from my living room where this was built over the last month and transport everything to the to the build shop uh, into the plane. So everything is labeled, everything is done and here's the, the complete wire harness for the sling. Uh, we also made these plates to hold the parts and wire harness uh, and we made uh, some brackets for the transponder underneath and also the battery will go underneath those plates uh, and also the vertical power system will go underneath but I didn't receive the vertical power system now so I have to make this on a later stage. Yeah, and then we started installing the wires in the plane. Uh, it's good to have some more hands, some helping hands to get all these cables and wires through the middle console. It's a really tight fit in there. 
there are the torque tubes uh, for the flaps and for the uh, elevator uh, and the ailerons so this is quite narrow in there you have to split up the the wires to the left and the right side for the fuel tanks and the wires to the back for the servos and then we installed of course everything uh, and tested everything the complete wire harness uh, in the plane uh, we add some structures to support the plates and the, the wires so this is the final result with the fuel lines and the wires down here there's a little box for controlling the strobe light and the position light everything is uh, quite nice here so here's the transponder and the battery down here you ha also have to change the batteries uh, every six years i think and so you have uh, good access to the battery here's the elt it's not not wired up now uh, and here you can see it's really tight in here of course this is at this stage now not ready but in the meantime we fix this this is the antenna for the radio so everything is prepared here we isolated with uh, noise cancelling foam the luggage compartment and here's the GMU 11 also the cables for the audio checks are in here and wired up and also tested of course um, we finalized the rudder cables uh, the tubes for the rudder cables are not easy to install and to fix up and we installed the support bracket for the for the firewall uh, before installing the side skins we also installed the landing leg uh, most builders and the instructions say to do that afterwards but we decided to do it uh, before we install the side skins uh, the only problem is the side plate here you cannot remove the side plate when the landing leg is installed but you can slide the side skin in here and it's much easier to install the bolts for the landing legs uh, when the side skin is not in here yeah uh, everything is running uh, everything is wired up as you can see we even have a GPS signal in here so you can see our location in the center of Europe in Austria so if you want to come by just visit us <laughs> give us a message and come over you can see everything is working uh, the flaps flap motor is working Everything is wired up, everything uh, is tested and it was really important for me to test everything before the, to put the side skins on because it's really hard to work inside the plane when the side skins on. Yes, everything is ready, everything is perfect prepared for the side skins and thank you for watching so far, see you next time on my TSI.